Imagine this. Nearly one in every five love stories is a tale of forbidden love. Quite a staggering statistic, wouldn't you say? Love, in all its varied forms, has always been a subject of intrigue, but it's the forbidden kind that often captures the imagination. Today, we delve into the psychological aspects that lead to forbidden love. Think about Romeo and Juliet, Lancelot and Guinevere or any other iconic pair from the annals of forbidden love. Why do these stories resonate with us so deeply? It's because the human psyche is drawn to the allure of the forbidden. The thrill, the secrecy, the danger. It all creates an intoxicating cocktail that can make the heart race. Psychologists posit that forbidden love often stems from the concept of reactance a psychological phenomenon where individuals push back when they feel their freedom is being threatened. When society or circumstances dictate that two people cannot be together, it sparks a rebellious streak. This defiance fuels the desire, making the love even more potent. Another compelling aspect is the Romeo and Juliet effect, named after Shakespeare's star-crossed lovers. This theory suggests that parental disapproval can actually strengthen a romantic relationship rather than weaken it. The more the parents object, the more the lovers want to prove them wrong. The opposition becomes a catalyst, driving the love story forward with an irresistible force. Forbidden love also thrives on the element of danger and risk. The thrill of breaking societal norms, the adrenaline rush of sneaking around, the exhilaration of overcoming obstacles. These experiences can heighten emotions and intensify the bond between lovers. But let's not forget the role of empathy Often those in forbidden love are sympathised with, seen as victims of societal norms or expectations. This empathy can add a layer of depth to the relationship, making it seem more profound and meaningful. Yet it's essential to remember that these are just theories, and human emotions are far more complex. Forbidden love, like any other love, can be beautiful or tragic, uplifting or heartbreaking. It's a tapestry woven with threads of passion, defiance, and above all, the indomitable human spirit. So ponder this. How does your understanding of forbidden love align with these psychological aspects? Do you see it as an act of rebellion, a testament of true love, or perhaps something else entirely? Reflect on it. The beauty of love, forbidden or otherwise, lies in its ability to evoke such deep and varied emotions. It's fascinating, isn't it? The human heart, in its quest for love, knows no boundaries.